I've got a big list on my laptop in front of me. Before I start going down the list, these are my key style words. To sort of summarize how I'm visualizing winter, feminine, soft, 60s, French, academia, graphic, colorful, simplified, earthy, ballet core, and classic. The first sort of category that I have on the list has more to do with like the color palette that I'm thinking. I say that I'm thinking it, but all this stuff has come from TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram. Definitely none of it is my idea. So I've got soft muted colors, earth tones. I just put wine, like that really nice whiny red color. And then more to do with like actual outfit putting together. I have monochromatic outfits specifically in black, white, red, green, and navy. As you can tell, it's very feminine and soft and sleek. <laughs> I think if you've been on TikTok at all in like the last three months or so, you've definitely been seeing everyone wearing lots of lace and ribbon as accessories. I absolutely love this trend. I think it's the cutest way to just add something more to our outfit. It's typically an accessory people wear in their hair. I literally have some black ribbon in my pigtails right now. The next accessory on my list I'm also wearing. My locket is my absolute favorite piece of jewelry ever. I just think that gold lockets especially just have such timeless classic feminine look the next thing on my list is like kind of an accessory i have almond nails in the last couple years i have not been the type of person to get my nails done but recently i've just been seeing so many people wear almond nails especially like french tip and not even only like the classic like white french tip people have been doing like pink French tips and you can like really mix it up. The next thing on my list is red lipstick. I think it is so, so gorgeous. Red lipstick will always remind me of Lana Del Rey. The next thing on my list is very basic and definitely is not a new trend at all, but I just like mentioning it because I just feel like it's gonna continue to be a staple and a trend. Tote bags, very basic, like I said. I just feel like a good tote bag just adds such a cute little academic vibe to an outfit, I don't know. The next thing on my list is tights. Specifically for this, I was thinking like less of the typical like black type of 2014 tumbler vibe tights. I was thinking more like going to a ballet class like white and like pale pink. This is sort of an element of like that ballet core thing that's been around for a little while and that I think is gonna continue very much into winter. I feel like this is not only great for like style purposes but also just like practicality in the winter to like layer and be warm. And next on the list is big knit scarf. Just like big in every way. Like very long, very wide. The next thing that I have is another sort of basic thing that definitely isn't something very new and has definitely been around for a long time. Frilly socks. Um, I love frilly socks. Especially anything platformed with frilly socks is just absolutely amazing. The next few things are more makeup stuff graphic liner colorful shadow with the colorful shadow i was also thinking like within that i'm having a really hard time articulating this thought lots of different placements and like fun new ways to wear colorful shadows then i've got stars and freckles i just really like the idea of stars in makeup freckles are just so cute and nothing really new but then i have glitter and i think that i was also thinking like glitter as sort of like the freckle vibe, if that makes sense. And then just glitter in general. Like I've seen some people putting glitter in their hair and I really like that idea. I have super, super long hair and I think it'll be so fun to have like glittery long hair. I feel like I would feel like a mermaid. Next thing is headbands, specifically again, the like ballet core colors, like the soft pinks and whites. The next thing I think some people will love and some people will absolutely hate, but fur hats. I really love fur hats. I've been looking for one that's like cute and wearable. They're not the easiest to find. I feel like if I did find one, it would be super expensive, but I just really, really like how they look. Then like sort of in the same type of thing, I have earmuffs, like just big white fluffy earmuffs. Pretty straightforward, just cute and fluffy and fun. <laughs> Finally moving down to actual items of clothing. I am wearing this item and that is cable knit jumpers. I am a big oversized crew neck person, but I think that that can get really boring sometimes. In the same sort of way, I have graphic knits. I think just anything big and chunky and knit. Then this is one of my favorite things on this list. I have collared cardigans. I recently bought a lot of cardigans because in Australia, you're just dressing for summer most of the time. And when it hits colder temperature, I'll usually just like chuck on a jumper. I really wanted something that was lighter than a jumper, but was still like, warm and wintry and cute and fun and my favorite cardigan that i bought is from asos and it's just like a pale blue button up i always get compliments when i'm wearing it because it's just such a nice soft muted 
color and i think that the color just adds something really cute and feminine to it but i would love to have a colored cardigan in like a nice pale pink that's the dream the next thing on my list i think is very controversial and i think that it's again one of those things that people are going to absolutely hate or just like be here for. I personally really think that ponchos are gonna come back. In the early 2000s, I was very much a poncho wearer. I just think that they're like really cute. I saw a TikTok of this girl and she had like a matching poncho and I was like, it's like, it just looks so cute and they're like practical and fun and warm for the winter time. Ponchos just remind me of like strawberry shortcake, like the old 2000s strawberry shortcake. Cause I feel like she wore a poncho. The next thing that I have is white blouses. And this is another thing that's one of my absolute favorites. Um, I feel like this one really depends on how you style it. These specific types of tops, especially like the nice vintage, like lacy embroidered ones. I feel like I've been painted as like granny core, which is like, that's really cute. I love granny core, but I feel like some people think it's too mature and not like young enough. In my opinion, I think that they're so fresh and young and feminine. The next thing sort of ties into what I was just saying, but just embroidery, like everything embroidered, especially like blouses and stuff like that, and quilted jackets. But I've seen a couple on Pinterest and they look really fun and interesting. If you live in like a really cold place and you want a fun coat to wear that's like a little bit different, try a quilted one. The next few things are more 70s style. So first we've got patchwork, tops, skirts, jeans, jackets literally everything i love patrick so much and then of course we have denim flares and just like any type of flare so 70s and amazing and i will always wear them and then more to do with pants i have newspaper print and just like any type of graphic jeans fringe jackets i haven't seen a ton of these i feel like they just really tie into the 70s thing which is just always going to be a thing forever and ever and ever and ever now moving down to shoes my absolute favorite the first thing that I have is loafers and heeled loafers. See them all the time, all over Pinterest and TikTok and everything, and people style them so well. I feel like a nice black loafer is just so easy to style and just so perfect in every single way. The next thing's kind of similar. I have Mary Janes. Mary Janes are just super 70s. And I always feel like Daphne from Scooby Doo. I feel like it's just very Daphne. I love Daphne. The next thing's been trending for literally forever, but I have cowboy boots, specifically just like the classic brown and red cowboy boots. Next, I feel like it's more of, the only word that I can think of is like palatable, just like an easier, more accessible way to style this sort of cowboy vibe, but then also like not at all. Um, I just have brown boots, specifically like platform brown boots. Also platform black boots are always really fun and cool. Some nice 70s platform brown boots. You can find like really cool patchwork ones. 